Ooh, I'm gonna turn it to the back, y'all. Did you see me? Oh, yes, yes, yes. All right, let's see. Okay. All right, I'm in here. Should put some glitz on my hand. Look at my finger before we get started. This is the one that was messed up. We got action. We got action. All right. All right, come on, Aries. Let's go ahead and get y'all reading out the way. We're going real old school with the messages where we put the 13 out, and then we'll see what comes, and then I might hit y'all with a... Uh, with a... Uh, Mm, I'm debating off if I'm doing the witch's tarot, but I won't, don't want to do that. I might do uh, the archetype or the love energies because it seemed like. Ooh, all right, slow me roll. Um, I don't know because with the witch's tarot, the messages seem like they don't end. They don't. They be more spiritual than anything, but they seem like they don't end. So I be having like cutting it off and then still begin the back end of the messages. So I ain't got time for that. Oh, but I will tell you, I'm not doing no Capricorn energy reading though. Oh, it is what it is. I ain't gonna cut myself off, so I'm gonna let the reading go on how long it's supposed to go on, depending on each sign. So you just go with it how you wanna go with it. Don't rush me, because it ain't gonna be no, oh, well, you need to do all the 12 signs. You're gonna get what you're gonna get day by day, piece by piece, even if it takes me the whole damn month. you gonna get it. Um, but while you're here, though, you can tell somebody to like, share, and subscribe, though. All right, okay, I'm gonna put my leg out. Okay, but I will tell you this, though. Make sure that if it's anything, I don't know if this is just coming up with y'all sign or just over our Capricorn season, because I will repeat that. Um, if there's anything that requires, like, a purchase, make sure you check it out first. If something seems like it is too good to be true, I'm not saying that, um... If something seems like it's too good to be true, this could be somebody dealing with you or you dealing with someone else. Just make sure that you check that shit out first. I ain't saying that you got to be in a skeptic mind frame, but um, do your research. That's all I'm getting. Do your research so it won't end up like this, right? So you won't be getting over but bad business, bad partnerships, a breakup, whatever it is going on in your life. Just do the research. That's all I'm saying. Something seems too good to be true. And then make sure that you're checking somebody's intentions because the song that came on in my head is, uh, I'm about to blow your back out. But the part that keeps coming on is, I can't buy the car unless I test drive. So it could be somebody, if there's anything that's dealing with sales, uh, longevity in your life, long-time partnerships, commitments, or whatever. It may be a person, it may be someone, or it could be intentions of you or someone else that seem like they don't want to stick around. They could just be in this energy of a stick and move, stick and move, stick and move, stick and move. So I don't know, right? So that's what it is, stick and move. So I don't know if that's something that you're going to be accustomed to or even like. But if that's your energy, you got to also know, just because you being a snake oil salesman out here don't mean that everybody want it, right? Just because you wearing here like, all right, I got it, I got it, don't mean everybody want it. Everybody ain't going to want it. So just think about that, though. All right. I think that's it. Let me get one more. Because we got to go old school. Them oil commissions just ain't been helping y'all ass out because it's shortening them up. Right. But just know once I do these and it take a longer time, this way y'all don't see me on the internet because I'll be like, shit, them jumps be an hour, at least about 45 minutes at least. I ain't finna come back after that. That's 12 goddamn hours of my life. I cannot get back. Okay. Ooh, some of y'all dealing with a Scorpio. And these. What? It ain't came out yet, but it's my head. It just said it was like Scorpio. I was like, well, what you mean? Shit. <laughs> what you mean? Right? Because your tag read over here is Scorpio. So what you mean? What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? Oh. All right. Let's see what's going on on the bottom of the deck. Oh. Uh-uh. Yeah, that's why I said making sure that you check certain things. I know kind of just getting back into it, though. If there's anything that seems like it's too good to be true, make sure that you check somebody's intentions. Because I will tell you with this Ace of Pentacles, this Ace of Wands, this Ace of Swords, and this Four of Swords, this is communication that is not uh being brought up between you and someone else. I do kind of feel like coming... um. This is intentions. This is mind frame, too, because some of y'all, too, this could be going forward if you're looking for, like, a new direction or just starting life, like, getting this, um, oh, I want to go after this. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do this. Make sure that you're very honest about it. Don't let fear 
uh, direct your decisions because if you're guiding your decisions at this moment, this is where you could be operating off an old paradigm instead of like moving forward. Because some of y'all, this is the fear of unknown. Like if you want to heal something or move forward, like this is truth that is not necessarily spoken. So you don't want to come off in that way where you kind of like, well, um, now nah, I said we're going to get back together. Now nah, I said we're going to do this. No, I'm trying to move forward, but you got your old ways. Like you still moving the same way, but then you like you moving the same, like you damn you saying the same shit in the same way you're still moving and saying and doing the same shit so it's kind of like it's no change it just feels like it's fresh ignore my finger it feels like it's fresh but it's still the same thing that's all i'm gonna say with that all right so what was this that was left on the bottom of the deck because we did have four wands high priestess we got the black numa being reversed the ace of sword eight of swords we got the four pentacles and we also got the white numa i do kind of feel like um if this is marriage or commitments or partnerships i do kind of feel like some of y'all this is breaking out of old ways especially when it comes down to teamwork i do kind of feel like if this is ooh, wait a minute if it's anything that's going on in marriage where you got like marital problems, some of y'all could just be stuck in a mind frame of, well, this is the good times. I don't know if it's a relationship or a partnership or whatever's going on. Y'all still caught up in a mind frame where this could be a particular person, right? Where they just still caught up in the good times. They don't want to break free from a particular situation because I do kind of feel like there is a burst of energy trying to come in, whether this is a new teamwork, whether this is a new team whether this is support, whatever it is that's coming in, some of y'all gonna reject it or possibly fuck it up because with that four pentacles, you feel like whatever hurt, you feel like whatever experience, you get to control this and you don't get to control how this comes in though. You don't. So this could be a more gentle, subtle approach to a lot of things. This could be somebody with a whole, 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 whole lot of feminine energy as well. That um, Especially if it's a woman or anything to deal with dating, uh, you might not know how to deal with it. Or even if it's just in general, some of y'all may not know how to deal with it. All right. Now, the overall move, we got three of wands. This is where I said, somebody coming back or something going forward, or if it's anything with business, if something's saying too good to be true, please make sure you're checking it out. Because with that three of wands, that's where you're going to be sitting around expecting certain shit. And this is where certain plans may go around, or this could be a particular person trying to come back. Now, we do got the Empress. We got the Chariot card being reversed in the Seven of Cups, Seven of Swords, and then we also got the Seven of Cups. Ooh. You got Cancer, Libra, Taurus, Pisces. I see you had a Scorpio. Uh, who else this is? It was somebody else. Hold up. I did say Pisces. You got Pisces twice, Scorpio, Capricorn. That's it. Capricorn said right here, Leo, Aquarius. God damn. There's a lot of people. Anywho, but getting back into it, though. Who is this? Because I told you, whoever this is, I don't know. This could be growth or self. Now, some of y'all, this could just be coming up with a mom or a person, though I do kind of feel like this here. Hold up. This for one of y'all, them cheetah, cheetah, pumpkin eaters, where you out here, you want to buy it, you want to test drive the cop, but they don't want it. This could be a person or something, but they got a whole lot of options. It's going to be the truth about this, though. On the flip side here, some of y'all doing like matriarchal healing, or this could be a parent or whoever this is that returning back into your life. I do kind of feel like that clouded judgment that you have about them, though. I feel like you're going to be able to see them clearly equally as well, though. Uh, this could be some emotional confiding. This could be a whole lot of truths, whether this is because this could be you like i'm telling you i don't know who you're dating but just giving me a little bit of relationships it's this mind frame of i'm telling you whoever this is they like to test drive the car but they don't want to buy it so this could be seem like a person very interested in you like you uh want to court you want to date you this could even be you and then it's kind of like all right okay thank you and it could just be you running a credit it could be somebody paying a deposit then coming back last minute like no i'm gonna just take this back so it seemed like they got active interest into something, but when it comes to solidifying a deal, this is something that's not working for some of y'all, though. So you're going to figure that out, though. You is. Um, on the flip side here, if there's family matters going on, this could be a feminine, though. I don't, do kind of feel like this is a very distorted aspects of feminine energy. I kind of feel like there's a lot of confusion that goes around around them, or this could be crown chakra aspects, though, especially here. Now, this could go either way. It's going back to that relationship before we move on. I do, um, whatever belief systems that you have, whether it's upon women or how you think you're supposed to look or how you're supposed to date, where you're supposed to be, what family is supposed to look like, there is a reality that some of y'all going to have to accept to say this is not it. 
this this is not it. This is not working. Who I am, what I'm supposed to be, this really ain't working. Because with the Seven of Cups, that's not seeing things clearly as well, though. That's a little bit of addictions, whether it's drinking, smoking, fucking emotional attachments, whatever it is in your life, though. It could be a person. It could be someone or something, but... I don't see them sticking around for a long time. So we're just going to get out of here. Now, we do got the Five of Swords being in reverse. We got the Eight of Pentacles. Then we also got the Devil. Then we also got the Five of Cups. This is after the fight. Now, this could just be family drama here as well, though, because this could be a fallout between you and someone else, and this going to be the truth because some of y'all could have hit a head with a person because this could have came when somebody was under influence. This could have been their perception, how they view certain things, whether it's friends, whether it's family, relationships. I don't know, but it's just like, no, this is my friend. This is my person. This is this. Or I fuck with you. <clears throat> it's going to come down to a heavy reality of that. <sighs> that's all i got to say anyway but this could have been a fight because we do got five of swords but then we also got the five of cups we also got the eight of pentacles in reverse in the devil the problem is some of y'all don't pay attention to a lot of shit though whether this is um because let's just say we're just going out this party and some of y'all don't pay attention to your own emotions how they lead you in certain situations whether they control you or you control it or this is a particular person where they like to test drive the car and they may be with somebody else right this could be an attachment you don't see that it could be a third party situation where you bite off more than you could chew or something or this could just be generally overwhelmed somebody mad that you don't get them a whole lot of attention and some of y'all when it comes down to your sex life um <sighs> I don't know. Like, somebody got like a... Ooh, we finna go. Somebody got like a... Um, an overly... An overly hyperactive sacral chakra to where, like, I don't know if you could sexually satisfy them. This could be a... Um, they may just got arousal, of sexual disorder, or this could be somebody that could be a nymphomaniac, right? Addicted to sex or something like that, though. But they just might got arousal, of sexual disorder, though. But it's something like that, though, because this is the major problem when it comes down into a relationship because it's a pullback as well. Now, this could just be an indifference or something because somebody may produce more endorphins than the other. So they could be, oh, I love you, I love you, I love you. And they may want to show the way that they like you sexually or you may want to show somebody sexually or something but at the same time it causes a lot of problems though i tell you this because it leads a person to think more this comes out to where um the relationship is more based upon sex it's unrealistic a person can be more controlling they can invite certain things that they have into their life into your life and some of y'all are not really understanding it as well Flip side here, this could just be a grudge or family drama going between two people and now y'all trying to figure it out. But at the same time, somebody owes somebody an apology, but somebody don't want to get somebody an apology. So it's still just the same thing, blase, 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 right? Now we do got the King of Swords, we got the Three of Cups, and then we got the Page of Swords, and then we also got the Queen of Wands. Now I do kind of feel like some of y'all going to cut a person off. This is why I said business. Make sure you check that out because some of y'all may have to... Uh, drop a lawsuit i don't know because um whoever this is don't put your foot in your mouth because some of y'all may announce something just a little bit too fast and you may have to come back and somebody may be hitting you with a defamation case i don't know where the hell that's coming up from especially with their page of swords being in reverse because some of y'all announced something too fast but it wasn't uh, uh that came up in the other reading i gotta make it uh publish public because whoever this is they it could have been like a partnership or something that was going on but um, it was a reneging on the deal. This person didn't, whether it's a relationship or whoever this is, they reneged on something. But it wasn't long lasting. It wasn't supposed to be long lasting anyway. It was just the expectations of the Seven of Cups or how you believe or perceive something. It wasn't supposed to be long. That's all I'm going to say. It wasn't supposed to be long lasting at all. Um, yeah, so I want to announce nothing a little too soon. But at the same time, I just be weary of that though. So let's go. Um, on the flip side here, if this is you and a beat between someone else who could be coming back, I do kind of feel like if y'all more in the feminine aspects where you are hurt, where you see certain things, I do kind of feel like some of y'all gonna be stepping more into your masculine energy where you're making logical decisions that's based on 
it's kind of weird because it's kind of petty, but it works for you. Some of y'all could be at this point where you want to cut off a lot of people, but at the same time, the way you cutting them off, you doing what's best for you externally. So it's kind of like what looks good for you. It's kind of like, well, I'm going to date this type of person. You know what? Well, I got my heart broke. I ain't dealing with a nigga that like to fight. Well, bitch, I ain't dealing with this. I ain't hanging with hoes who act like this because this could just be cutting out motherfuckers where you don't want to hang around bitches who bougie. Or um, it's just a difference where it's kind of like, nah, I, I ain't dealing with them. I'm going to cut their ass off, all this other stuff. And then, too, when I said testing that car, you're going to end up talking to somebody and I got a baby. And that's that third part of the situation. You're going to find out the hard way. Okay. You're going to find out just the hard way. Okay. Now, we got the world card being in reverse. We got the page of wands and the wheel of fortune. That's why I said, oh. Um, Look at that. Some of y'all stuck in those same particular problems. Let's start anew. Let's move forward. Let's do this. Yada, yada, yada. Especially if it's cheating or infidelity on the table. I'm telling y'all, it's this old way of viewing certain things. Because somebody going to be saying, you cheated on me, you hurt me, you did this. But on the flip side, it's just one of y'all when it comes down to intentions. Um, the flip side here, especially if it's this feminine or whoever this is, whatever they're going through or a person or a situation, it just gives me a little bit argumentative at this moment. Uh, some of y'all have a problem with uh, sticking to certain things at this moment. So it could just be you, right? Yeah, I'm going to do this. Yeah, I'm going to do this. And it's like, no. And then that accountability hits. Some of y'all don't want to be accountable. And it's causing a whole lot of drama and chaos, right? Some of y'all could be. It's causing a whole lot of drama and chaos. Or whoever this is that cheated that ended up getting the baby. Oh. Somebody cheated on somebody, came back with a baby, or talking to somebody, but the problem is, oh, get it together. Okay, I'm the person. I cheated. I came back with a baby. Boom. So now I got a baby, but I'm trying to work it out with you when I come back, but yeah, Aries, this kind of feeling like, yeah, oh, or this could be somebody who you're dealing with. They were trying to test dry the car. They were just probably trying to get their little wee wee sucker. They were trying to get their little cat ate, right? In the midst of them trying to do whatever it was, it landed in a situation with a baby. And now if you're trying to work the relationship out, this is where somebody's stuck because somebody don't pay attention to the bullshit that they get themselves into. Ooh. All right. But somebody going back to their old habits because it's like either you're going to move forward or you're not, but they're still stuck in their same ways. So we're gonna move out of that, right? Okay. So, all right. So we got four swords. We got the moon card, and then we also got the four cups. Yeah. It just seems like some of y'all y'all see a stuff in the past. Let me just say that though, like y'all see a stuff in the past. Whatever disagreements or arguments that you got going on, I do kind of feel like whatever breakthrough, whatever spirit is trying to have with you or a person, whatever's going on, somebody don't want to hear what they got to say. Now this could be somebody that could be emotionally closed off or shutting down because every time the conversation go up, it's the same thing or the words may be hurtful. I tell you that, but these words that's coming up right now, they're not trying to be hurtful. Uh, it's trying to shed some light on the situation though. It really is, but some of y'all could. It's trying to shed light on a situation, but some of y'all don't see it that way because y'all feel, oh, I done heard it, I done heard it. Oh, my God, it's the same damn thing. It's lies, it's bullshit, woo, woo, woo. But then somebody like, I'm really trying to tell your ass the truth. I'm really trying to communicate with you. I'm really trying to have this break, but somebody don't want to. Um... We got Emperor in reverse. We got the Scrimp. We got Ten of Cups in reverse. We got the Air Front in reverse. We got the King of, King of Pentacles. We got the Ace of Cups. And then we also got the Nine of Pentacles as well. Uh, what I want to say? Oh, uh, yeah. But yeah, I said this, this here, just going back to this, 
tell me how that's a decision that somebody made and they're trying to figure it out though whether this something that impacted you or someone or something but they're trying to come in and give you some type of closure or you trying to come in and get somebody closure but you also got to look at it though when you're going through your healing phase or another person going through their healing phase this does, this does not mean that somebody also has to be receptive so you can only have a breakthrough that it is that you want i do kind of feel like this whatever drama so it's kind of like again if this is you trying to be accountable for your shit somebody don't want to accept it or this could be someone that's trying to make you accountable but you don't want to be accountable so this is somebody that's sitting in regret now we do got the emperor of strength and we also got the ten of cups and we got the hair from the universe the king of pentacles and the ace of cups and i do kind of feel like this is where some of y'all falling out with people who um oh. Yep. If this is your emotional support system, some of y'all tan through the motherfuckers like a lot. I do kind of feel like some of y'all in a period where y'all by y'allself. Yep. Y'all is. And then too, when it comes down to your marital problems, I say this is where somebody holding on to the old times or how they used to be, whether it's like going through old yearbooks, um, money, fame, stature, all those particular things. Like somebody going through, like, I remember we used to do this. And it could just be a photo collage. It could just be anything, right? It could just be memories. It could be conversation and an aspect. But there's somebody who's going back down on nostalgic a nostalgic aspect of trying to have some type of communication though but i do kind of feel like some of y'all by yourself i'm telling you uh y'all really by yourself in a period in your life though for real and this is not nice though i kind of feel like this is a little bit of self-destructive habits that's coming in too it's a little self-destructive because we also got knight of wands and we also got the six of pentacles um for real like it's weird because some of y'all going down this path where y'all falling out with a lot of people but at the same time you're trying to go back and reconnect with old people who run the drama gossip and all this other bullshit into your life and now y'all just going through a lot of shit by yourself right um here um pisces had this came up though right pisces had this come up though pisces had if you go check out their last pisces read they had this what was it reading where i said it was like they had to initiate to step into some type of elder so you could be a cusper or you could got pisces placements or you could be dealing with somebody's pisces but they had this where they was going through some type of spiritual initiation and it was like and it wasn't like actually going through initiation like this though you know how that conversion shit coming up no it wasn't like somebody being converted like this oh this is support this is strength this is this and some of y'all went through in a state of looking for religious aspects and end up getting into a toxic community i'll tell you that on the flip side here oh i'm gonna my knees up on the flip side here scoot up what i'm trying to say that pisces read was more about somebody stepping into their path whether it was a man that needs to step into a man or a woman whatever it is it was like stepping into their path of who they are what's designed what's destined for them but it felt like somebody was very resistant to that though so i don't know how y'all gonna feel about that though right so i don't know is this just a little breakup is this just a marriage is this just a little separation if it's post-divorce whatever it is somebody focus on i'm finna to be i'm finna be independent i want to do this and i want to do this fuck love i don't care all this other stuff <laughs> but they do care though they just hurt whoever this is that's trying to have this breakthrough with this individual is really not gonna work out though it is really not so right but i do kind of feel like some of y'all in a period in y'all life where you just going through a lot and that's why i said pay attention to that though because some of y'all is gonna have to end up going to court i don't know if it's over a defamation case or just some money or just receiving back end funds here look at big child support baby it could be alimony whatever it is it's just that that could be coming up right but let's see it could just even be that yeah what the fuck i do with that dick Cause I can't buy the car that I do this drive. Bitch, I just had it. Oh, my foot going to sleep right here. Hold on, y'all. Is that it? Nope, it's not behind me. I just had the damn thing. I did, girl. I just had it. Oh, well, let's see what's going on with this moonology, baby. Look at them girl with them days to do song. Look at that. Conclusion sovereign then reach balance spirituality and practical. I got like the man oh, baby. I was looking for that shit. I just had it. I threw that joint on my bed. Not enough to like moving some shit around. Because that requires me to get the fuck up. Let's 
I can't buy the car without a test drive. I said, I'm making my baby. I said, I can't. I don't know. Look. Hold your vision and your commitment is being tested. I don't know how y'all gonna feel about that, though. But you singles, just catch somebody intentions at the door. I ain't saying you gotta be snuff mugger up. I ain't saying you got to be Chris Hansen, catch a goddamn predator. Oh, here it is right here, shit. I ain't saying you got to be that, though, but shit, it is what it is. It probably wasn't meant for me to grab it. Let's go. Then we'll get back into the tarot message. We'll see what comes out on Sacred Destiny. All right. It is what it is. Believe in the impossible. Emotions are running high. That believe in the impossible is giving me that damn seven of cups energy where I told y'all this is a whole lot of doubt. Some of y'all, um, this is like, it's weird though with this believe in the impossible because I'm saying it's giving me seven of cups. Like somebody runs off their emotions. This could be somebody when they get into a place of they could have panic attacks. Um, and I'm not saying it could be mean because some people do suffer with anxiety, but this is not giving it though. This is giving more in a ramble because keep in mind, panic attacks, anxiety, all those particular things do cause illusions. Uh, but this give me that energy to where like, it's kind of like an emotional meltdown. The reality that somebody has created for themselves is not realistic. So they have to ground themselves like a lot, especially when it comes to their emotions or other people's emotions. This could be a very antagonistic person or, um, fiery reactive it just gives me that though because it got nothing will come of the situation in the end of a tough cycle approaches though so that's why i said that's seven of cups i'm telling you whatever doubt that you got a particular person well they got bullshit drama whatever it is that's going on um you already know you already know it's just at the point Whatever breakthrough you want somebody to keep trying to have, y'all just keep arguing. You already know the answer. You already know the solution. Well, this is a person dealing with you. They already know the solution, but it's kind of like, God damn. Nothing will come of this situation. Now, that could mean two things, though, but just reading it as is, it's like nothing will come of this situation. Like, the end has happened. The hard part has happened. If this is somebody just keep going round and round and round, and there is a difference if somebody keep doing the same thing, like I said in the beginning, then you already know what it is that you're doing. You just arguing with somebody just like to waste time. You feel like you're trying to prove a point to somebody for nothing. And you going through particular shit. You stacking up on karma, all this other stuff. You're going through these rough periods. And then it's kind of like, oh my God, right? And go that Capricorn energy again. I do kind of feel like that. We all just keep having this... Uh, because if it's just you and somebody else, but y'all just trying to put water on a bridge and you just trying to move forward, I do kind of feel like the major problem is it's like every time when it comes into conversations, whatever it is, y'all coming from a very emotional place. This could be grudges. This could be um, grudges. I would have never said that to you. Well, why the fuck would you say this? And da, 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 da. Like, it's all the other stuff, right? Somebody feels like somebody very insensitive when they come to do a lot of things, which somebody may be, though. Keep in mind, that's their experience. It is. It's their fucking experience. What you fail to recognize. What do you need to release and step out of your comfort zone and balance spirituality and practicality? I'm telling you. This goes back to the ones that marriage shit, too. Not saying that marriage is shit, but I'm just saying this is old baggage in a relationship. For real. If this is just because here's the thing, if some of y'all where you hear me say we talk about soul contracts and people who necessarily like people who are moving forward, when it comes to you stepping outside of your comfort zone, y'all gonna have to recognize that certain shit that you used to do ain't gonna appease you no more. And if you used to be a certain person, it's gonna require you to step into a person that you never been before. So this could make somebody feel uncomfortable. And some of y'all, this could be you, Aries, or a person who you're dealing with that is not comfortable with a state of change. And what do you want? You want to peel this off? All right, I'm coming in wrong. We can peel it off. He can lock my door and close it. No, you don't. No, you don't, your ugly. My bad, y'all. 
It's Bobby. Um, where you hear me say being stuck in those, um, shit, he just threw me out. Being stuck in those patterns, I'm telling you, like, it's very uncomfortable for somebody. We finna get into this, though, so we are gonna see what else comes out. But I'm telling you, it's being stuck in those patterns to where it's throwing somebody off, though, because somebody is not comfortable with change like they say they do whether it's like kicking shit to the side moving forward recognizing people for who they are seeing that shit has happened it is what it is like somebody just keeps recreating these hard times it's kind of like damn when the fuck this shit gonna be over with so i don't know it feels very self-destructive somebody could be their own worst enemy at this moment i don't know how you're dealing with it or just having some type of breakthrough with a person or a situation but i do kind of feel like the hard part over is just what you do is you gonna get up and fight or you gonna move forward or you just gonna keep having the same argument with somebody so yeah so getting back to what i was saying when they say step outside of your comfort zone where it's like your north node area this is when y'all stop doing the same repetitive shit when you sit back and you self-reflect hold up where you sit back and you self-reflect on who you used to be what you used to do because this ain't communication is key but some of y'all can't communicate because all y'all do is fucking argue this is a new way of communication because we got win-win on the outcast this is a win-win out this is a win-win outcome on the forecast that's why i said some of y'all can't communicate whether well, you dealing with a gemini libra capricorn I told you even a damn y'all dealing with the whole damn zodiac. I don't know, right? This could just be you versus yourself though, right? Ugh. This could be you versus yourself though. Check it uh chart that might help you out a little bit more. But um shit. I don't know what to tell y'all though. Just a new way of looking at shit. You just gonna have to learn. Either I'm gonna keep doing the same shit and keep getting the same problems. Or I'm going to try something different and not doing something different because I'm being spiteful or trying to prove a point or let me see what this motherfucker said because they, no, 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 no. You do it because you tired and you want something different though. Don't do it because everybody else doing it. No, you get there when you get there. That's how you get out of that karmic energy. Taking your time one day at a time. But also as well though, on the flip side, even if it comes to relationship, somebody wants to test drive their goddamn car, but they don't want to buy it. That's all I'm saying. I don't know if they want to buy it because he said, I can't buy the car unless I test drive. He said, I'm about to take your damn clothes off. That's a very sexual song. So that's all I'm saying. Somebody might be trying to fuck and they ain't trying to stay. Mm. Check your intentions at the door. Be honest. Be vocal. All right? That's all I got to say on that. I ain't come over here for all that other shit. Mine ain't chill out. Well, every time we have sex, it seems like we always start arguing. Well, let's stop having sex then. Boom. Hello, right? Okay. Well, that didn't go over too soon. What? Let's just stop having sex. And, all right, okay. I'm going to put three on these, and then we're going to try to close this out. Hopefully, it'll go the way it needs to go. Damn, I said two. This is the same damn shit. I got to make that video public. Shit, did I make that video public? I didn't. That's what it is. I didn't. I got to go back and upload. That's what it is. I'm going to tell you, I did. I did not make that. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Woo! Slowly roll, girl. Wait, 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 wait. It was just doing good. Just a bit. Ugh, I get ahead of myself sometimes. Slowly roll, Every Slowly roll. Slowly roll. Some of y'all think y'all healed and got over shit and the shit still hurt. Slowly roll. Ooh. It hurt it. God. Right? Okay. One more. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, 
right. You still got that page of swords. Who is this? Uh, King of Swords, a magician, three of cups, and a page of swords. Ooh. This something about a baby. I don't really want to talk about that, though, because some of y'all got something going on with a baby. And I, I told you this baby came about from a third-party situation, though, and I will tell you this, so I don't know what the hell going on. On the flip side here, this is a new chapter, though, but I do kind of feel like... um. The who is this? Cause one somebody be spying on somebody with some type of magic. They really do. And y'all just had like a sexual. Ooh, whoever who in this person is, I don't know. Whatever sexual chemistry that you and this person had, or whatever one night stand, whatever it is, I don't know. You could just be on fucking social media, whatever it is. though. but it's somebody where they still just trying to check up on somebody from time to time, though. And I really don't like it, though. When it come down to the page of swords, though, being in reverse, um. That's somebody who kind of comes off like a know-it-all. So, I don't know how you're going to deal with that as well. Because I'm telling you, I don't, I don't think that's brushing up too well. Especially if this is a fallout between two friends. And then, too, if this is somebody where you're trying to tell them about their kids or the relationship to their kids. I don't think they take kindly to shit like that, though. So, this could be you or this could be somebody else. But somebody don't take too kindly to that, though, at all. They don't. They like, uh-uh. Don't tell me this. I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do. I raise my kids. How the fuck I want to raise my kids. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. That's you hitting the wall on that one. Just stop. Just stop. All right, okay. We got Hill of Chaos. We got the World card being reversed. We got the Justice, the Sun card, the Queen of Wands, and we also got the Knight of Cups. Ooh. Some of y'all keep trying to heal something with a particular person who miss it, right? Or this could be somebody that's trying to get some justice from a particular uh, rape trauma, especially if they landed to a baby or some type of practice. But I'm telling you, some of y'all keep trying to heal something with an individual who is that flat out fucking messy. I do kind of feel like when it comes to them, it's very egoistic. Or this could be somebody where they are uh, trying to, uh, this could be you or someone, but I tell you, something that they're trying to heal or you trying to heal is something through a sacral aspect, though, that could have landed into pregnancy. This could be an abortion. This could be the loss of a child. But, um,. Ooh. Can I say that? Um, don't take this the wrong way and I'm gonna go to the next card. I see what this is though. Um somebody trying to heal something from the loss of a child and it's more on the feminine aspect though to where the nigga saying that she fucking selfish and she don't feel a certain way that he fucking feel. And it's like, oh, you don't understand, and you don't do this, and you don't do this, but he do, but it's like, he trying to, I don't know, it's like, he trying to have this breakthrough, uh, it's like, he trying to have this breakthrough with her, but at the same time, he can't have this breakthrough with her, because everything he do, he trying to tell her that she fucking selfish, and at the same time, she trying to tell him that he's selfish, so he go off and do his own thing, and she go off and do her own thing. Yeah, all right. Mm-hmm. Right. So I don't know if they together or not. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So if there's a particular person that you could be dealing with, I do kind of feel like if it comes to your dreams, goals, and hopes and aspects expectations, don't give up on them because um uh don't give up on them. You just you just pitch the idea to the wrong person. Now, if it's something lower vibrational, drama, shit talk, gossip, and all this other stuff, this is not that time to give up on. You just pitch the idea to the wrong person. And it seemed like that could have just stopped you a whole lot. Right? It just stopped you a whole lot. And then, too, I just want to say this here, especially with this justice card being reversed in this night of cups, stop fucking your friends. Because if you stop having sex with your friend, whether it's male or female, male or male, girl and girl, whatever it is, you won't have all this drama going. All right, we're gonna get out of the way. All right, so now we got purity. We got queen of cups. We got king of wands. Then we also got the lovers and the ten of wands. I did say that, though, whoever this is, they're going to have to purify and cleanse their intentions. Because some of y'all could be at this point where you could be using magic or getting tarot readings or using a witching hour or whatever gifts or psychic influence. You see this hypnotism she got in her eyes? 
uh she could or he whoever this is they feel like they could be trying to make somebody pay because they should have been forthright they should have been clear with me they should have said this they should have did this like it just feels like it's a whole lot of uh vindictive energy here so i don't know who you are especially if you're like a, a siren especially a male or a succubi where you just are more prone to sexual relationships i would watch that in this particular season especially going into capricorn season when it comes down to your intentions or a person do a little bit more thorough stop trying to get in bed with everybody it will stop trying to allow everybody on your little meat or meat or um vagina because uh somebody ain't gonna take this too kindly especially when it come down to their feelings as well though so this could be you or this could be somebody else i but I'm telling you again, please purify those intentions as well, though. I don't know, because I'm telling you, I don't like this, because I don't like it, because it's the look in her eyes where it feels like she trying to, uh, she trying to make somebody pay for playing with her feelings. Or well, this could just be you when it comes down to that distorted feminine energy, though, that you got to heal, though. And then when it comes down to accountability, it's like, no, but I'm a girl, or no, you hurt my feelings. Like, somebody acts like that, and it's kind of like, bitch, like, I see why y'all having these arguments. Y'all ain't getting nowhere. All right, okay. We got the more I keep reading, I'm like, this makes a lot of sense why y'all keep having these arguments. All right, okay. We got blessings. I'm like, yep, yeah, this is hitting home. All right, okay. We got four swords again, and we got ace of pentacles being reversed, and we also got the king of cups, and we got six of wands, and we got knight of pentacles, and the six of cups. I said this though with your past, or that person that you're trying to heal some with, or whether it's yourself, the person who you used to be versus now. I do kind of feel like some of y'all trying to call a person in, but um, I did say this though, especially when it comes down to pitching an idea, you just pitch it towards the wrong person though. Some of y'all were very uh, opportunistic when it came down to a lot of opportunities where you wanted it or um you really didn't like oh some of y'all fumbled the bag on a person too but slowly roll some of y'all wanted an opportunity so bad that you was the first one to jump at it though when it was a lot of people that was trying to push you or coerce you into something and there's a whole lot of regret that comes down for it so this is where now you basing your whole life off an old decision that it is that you have made Ooh. and then on the flip side here was well, some of y'all was well, somebody from the bag with you or you from the bag with somebody there's somebody that's trying to call somebody in like they are they're trying to be mature about it they're trying to understand it's more um it's giving me a little bit on the passive side as well though where you could be sitting in the sidelines and it could in the back whether it's you or somebody else and it's like you bound to miss your shot King this right um yeah it look like somebody on the apology tour so that's it though so that's why i say you might miss a shot i don't know what that's about though you might especially with the ace of pentacles the king of cups though and then here when it comes down to blessings if you dealing with particular people in your life um i don't like this because it's giving me a little bit um that goes to that self-sabotage and hang around around wrong crowd uh this is a little jealousy though especially those those, those frenemies type vibe uh you you might gotta you you might gotta go back and apologize or somebody else might gotta go apologize though because i'm telling you this is a lot that comes with this energy though i tell you there's a little jealousy that's going on between you and someone else though or some unnecessary beef especially with these cards as well and it could have been a fallout over money or opportunities or even magical aspects um spiritual beef like it's just a lot right so it's like you're trying to heal that at the same time it's moving too slow you don't see the blessing that came from it whether you fell out with a person or even if it's falling out with someone you don't see like what it is that you learn about yourself all right let's get out of it now we do got change all right, okay, we got three of swords in reverse, then we got the death card, and then we got five of cups, then we got the nine of wands, and then we also got the hermit. I like the nine of wands, so that's that get up and go fight energy to be able to move forward. But with the death card being in reverse and the nine of wands, you still moving in that Mars energy. You went from acting like a Aries, from moving so damn reactive to now you acting like a Scorpio to where you overly paranoid. You got major trust issues. Well, last time I did this, well, this motherfucker was like this, and they did this, where it's still holding you back right this could be some y'all at that point with hermit energy where you sit down self-reflecting like okay what is it that i'm supposed to do right 
What is it that I'm supposed to do? Especially if it comes down to decision making as well. I do kind of, this is getting over old heart wounds, old mistakes, old things. This is a lot where some of y'all just sitting back reflecting. But I do like the nine of wands because that's the energy to get up and go, right? But on the flip side here, the nine of wands can be defensive as hell though. And keep in mind, hermit is somebody that's coming to your life. That's a sage, whether it's you, but this hermit is coming into your life to give you some type of information. Now, on the flip side, this is a fallout between you and someone else, whether they're trying to talk to you and communicate. This is where you defensive as fuck against them. No, last time I listened to you, it was this. Or last time you did this. Like, one of y'all doing that. Or uh, this could be a person where they're trying to help you get to where it is that you need to go. And they looking back and they kind of like, you don't want to listen? You gonna sit there, you gonna have that fucking temper tantrum, but you gonna come the fuck on, and then it's you. Okay, all right, I guess, I guess. So, yeah, y'all got a lot of bullshit going on in the month of Capricorn. That's why I said overall, somebody want to test drive the car, but they don't know if they want to buy it. Intentions, contractually, these are notes that you need to be writing down. Um, contractually, I would make sure everything signed, sealed, and delivered. I don't see this person taking their money back. It's just, it, I just don't see a deal or something going through. Um, making sure contractually everything is covered, your basis is covered, all those things as well. Making sure it's that. Because uh, you don't want to com communicate a little bit too soon, announce something just a little bit too soon, and then boom, right? Um, what else? Working on feminine energy as well, especially with yourself. Some of y'all could just be healing the matriarchal aspect. Some of y'all, this is where you need to just sit down and ask your mother questions. If your mother's not alive, just start looking at your bloodline, whether it's feminine in your life, down to their relationships, who they date, even if it's the men, the type of women that they attracted to, what makes them happy, what keeps the longevity in relationships, right? Um, even if it's just friends, right? Because sometimes people don't have close knit relationships with family. They can have it with friends. I'm trying to see, just give y'all a little recap to walk away. Uh, change ain't easy, but it ain't going to come overnight. What else? Because I'm not reading one of them cards. Uh, what else? I'm trying to see what's the overall message. Stop being in Mars energy. So research Mars. Stop being in Mars energy when you're not in alignment yourself. So that's pulling yourself together, right? Masculine and feminine. We ain't adding the inner child. Masculine and feminine, the adult you, when it comes down to emotional reactions. So this could just be a person as well. Right? What else? I'm trying to see. I think that's it for what I pull y'all the love energy. I ain't reading this shit for that because uh -uh, my finger hurt. I think I snatched the skin. Look at that. Ugh. Some of y'all gonna be like, girl, stop showing us that. Oh, fucking well. It hurts. Ugh. It's raw skin. Just a little bit. Can I show y'all? It's raw skin up under there. Girl. I squished it out. Mm. We're gonna read this because I think this is what you need. Hold on. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Like, this is it. This is it. This is it. Great big love. And I said I wasn't going to read it. I was like, eh, I guess I'll read it. But I ain't read it for nobody else, though. So feel special. I might, like, if you see me on Bipolar, I'm don't get mad. Y'all just say y'all feel special. Right. Don't say I ain't never done nothing nice for you. Ooh, that finger kind of burning. I got to go. It burns. It's like I ripped the skin. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Stop looking at my ass, your hand. I'm going to put the long nails on it. 
We got great big love, love without conditions, romantic love, and how that experience changes you. Deep and profound, harmonious connections and soulmates. Love heals our wounds, begins our life. It sustains you when you are starving for grace, when you stumble and fall, when you lose sight of your purpose and fall prey to limited perspective of the ego. Now's the time is to fall in love and call awareness of the great big love that made you, which is ever pulsing through your veins. There's a heightened sense of awareness in the beginning stages of a relationship when nothing else matters but who is in front of you. You see them and you see yourself in them. And you move in sync with the candidates of your hearts. You surrender to the magic you share and engage in her and you engage in a harmonious dance that is seamless in its movements. Who had this car? I think y'all just had this. Rising and falling with each moment. I think y'all just fucking had this. Boom. I'm on the money. I think y'all had this. All of this card may pretend such as an intimate connection. You don't have to wait for a partner to experience. You're being invited now to explore love and all its beauty. Can you love without conditions, without the needing to be perfect? Do you love your life? What do you do? And how do you contribute? contribute to the world today invite love in with a capital l into your inquiry you will be amazed and your very question may be changed as a result love is the strength you need today the lens you must look through to find the truth and your way love is the way the only way and the only answer bam and Tara, could you stop you and no no because y'all get in my nerves i just like you know i've been trying to keep it loose I just I'm like, okay, right to the site. Yeah, I just, you know, I'm trying to be a better person. But it seems like every time when I'm trying to be a better person, these niggas be wanting me to go to hell, right? Because I be telling y'all, sometimes you go low, you got to go high. All right, my bad. I got to hang up because I'm doing it on Aries reading. I think that's y'all energy, right? Got to stop acknowledging every little thing, though, right? Every time an Aries come across my energy, I always acknowledging every little thing that piece you off. Sometimes it's justified, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's like, all right, okay. And then sometimes it's just acting like a Scorpio and then just getting the fuck out of the way and not saying shit and letting people grovel in their own experience of emotional fucked upness, right? <sighs> what? Shit, you better learn how to use that Mars energy. Sometimes it ain't shit to be said. Sometimes your presence being removed is enough being said. Anywho, um, that's it. But I think y'all got this though. Because remember, I did all the elements. I don't know if y'all got this or it probably was Tar. It was the earth signs. It was Tar's Capricorn. I don't know who it was. But it, I'm on the money. The fire signs got a great big love. That's why I was like, why am I reading this again? Anywho, goodbye.